Is Jeffrey with you? Yes, sir. He's hiding here inside the tunnel, sir. Who's here? Shh. We're the only ones here, Thomas. I don't ever want to go that fast backwards again, Thomas. Shh, will you? Thomas, tell Jeffrey I'd like to speak to him, please. Oh, uh, well... Hello, this is Jeffrey. Sorry I can't come out, sir, but I'm very, very shy. Well, Jeffrey, shy or not, you have caused confusion and delay. Just you go easy when you're shunting cars in future. Definitely, sir. No more accidents for me, eh, Thomas? No, no more accidents, Jeffrey. <laughs> well, goodbye then. Are you off? Well, uh, goodbye, Jeffrey. Thomas thought his plan had worked very well. But his troubles were only just beginning. Fizzling fireboxes! What's that? It's Spencer! Look out! Oh, no! Fizzling fireboxes! Thomas? And Spencer? I don't understand. Where's poor Geoffrey? Who's Geoffrey? He's a big red steamy from the mainland. Didn't you see him in the tunnel? There was no engine in the tunnel. <laughs> Except silly little Thomas. That's what I said. Thomas, explain yourself. I'm sorry, sir. I... I made Jeffrey up because I didn't want to get into trouble for causing that accident at Brendam Docks. Oh, so it was you, was it, Thomas? Now listen, we all have accidents. Why, only this morning I smashed Lady Hat's favourite teapot. And do you know what I did? Uh, you told her Jeffrey had done it? No, I admitted it. And you should have admitted it, too. You caused a lot of chaos by making up that silly story about Geoffrey. I'm sorry, sir. I hope you can learn from your mistake this time. Hmm. Now, I need to get back to Knapford, Thomas, to buy a new teapot. So does this mean there is no Geoffrey? That's right, Percy. What a shame. That Jeffrey sounded like a really nice engine. Uh, uh, Thomas! Thomas! Emergency! What's wrong? The suspension bridge is damaged. <gasps> that sounds very dangerous. What about Gordon? Clarabelle's right. The express will be here any minute. We need to stop him crossing the bridge. I'm going to go across and stop Gordon. Thomas, no! You can't! It's too dangerous! They're right, Thomas. I'm lighter than you. It'll be less risky if I go. <laughs> you stay here and block this side. Be careful, Stephen. Don't you worry. Stop, Gordon! 
out of my way, you silly little engine. You're too slow to be really useful. You... you saved me and my passengers. I... I... <laughs> I think he means thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, is that you? Percy, there you are. Diesel? Well, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Having a bath? No, I'm stuck. My firebox has gone out. Don't worry, Percy. I may not be a rescue vehicle, but I can rescue you. I'm a modern diesel engine, so I don't have a firebox. I have a generator. Hey, what's wrong? Maybe your generator got wet, Diesel. But, but that means we're both stuck. I'm sorry, Diesel. I've ruined everything. My firebox, your generator, the mayor's presentation? Uh, yes, about that. Um, I'm afraid I tricked you down here so that I could take the mayor instead. You tricked me? But why? So I could get my picture in the paper, Percy. I'm so... I'm so... Are you trying to say... <laughs> hey! Look! It's the rescue vehicles! I found them! They're over here! Right, Diesel. I'm coming for you first. Get ready! Percy? Diesel? Oh, hello. I hope it was all right that Diesel collected you instead of me. It's just that he so wanted to get his picture in the... Ah! for the search and rescue team's 1,000th and first rescue. <laughs> the next day, Diesel was still being repaired at the Diesel Works. <sighs> oh, no. Not Percy. What's he doing here? Hopefully he won't see me. Don't look up. Don't look up. Hello, Diesel. Percy, I didn't see you. I just came by to thank you. To thank me? Are you sure? Oh, I know you tricked me and everything, but you did try and rescue me too, and that makes you a really kind and useful engine. So, thanks. <laughs> I, 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 I... Diesel didn't know what to say, but luckily he didn't have to say anything, because just then, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. <laughs> Hello, Percy. Hello, Diesel. I thought you might like to see this. Look who's on the front page of the Sodor Times. <laughs> Looks like you did get your picture in the paper after all, Diesel. I don't believe it. What's happened this time? Flat tire, sir. I'm really sorry. But that's it then. Was simply not going to get there in time for my speech. Oh, what's happened here then? Mr. Percival. Your Grace? We need to get to Callan Castle, but I don't think we're going to make it. Bertie has a flat tire. Don't despair. I'll get you there. Oh, uh... What a charming little bicycle. I haven't ridden one for some years. I suppose I could sit on the handlebars. No, no, no. You wait here while I go for help. It's like I always say, two wheels to the rescue. Hello, hello, Sodor Search and Rescue Center. We need help. Oh, my! Ah, 
Hop on, your graces. I'll get you to Callan Castle. An arrival. But where's Spencer? I'll tell you all about it over dinner. Thank you, Harold. My pleasure, Your Grace. How embarrassing breaking down like that. But at least your valve gear's been fixed now, Spencer. And my flat tire's been mended, too. After all that, I still don't know how many wheels are best. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it, it's quite fun, actually, on two wheels. <laughs> but uh, oh, uh, I still think I prefer my car. Hello, it's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more.